And safety is obviously a major concern when it comes to getting kids back into school. Today, new research is revealing more about how likely students are to be infected. Dr. Frank McGeorge here to break down the new findings. Children usually play a big role in the spread of respiratory illnesses, so it generally makes sense to shut down schools to stop the spread of viruses. But numerous studies are finding age makes a significant difference when it comes to the coronavirus. British researchers studied demographic data from six countries as well as data from six published studies on infection rates and symptom severity. Their research estimates children and teenagers are only half as likely to become infected with COVID-19 compared to people over age 20. When children are infected, they are more likely to be asymptomatic or have mild symptoms. In those age 10 to 19 infected with coronavirus, only 21% showed symptoms. By comparison, 69% of those older than 70 with COVID-19 experienced symptoms. Researchers say their findings suggest closing schools may have a relatively small impact on reducing COVID-19 spread in a community. But the issue is complicated. Keeping schools open does expose teachers and other staff members and increases the odds of kids bringing the virus home to other family members. It's still not clear why younger people are less impacted. One theory suggests there may be some level of cross protection from recent exposure to other less serious types of coronaviruses. Back to you. All right, always appreciate it. Thank you, Doc. A few other notes on the coronavirus for you today. Governor Whitmer also says she hopes to have the entire state in phase five of the reopening by July 4th. Today, the state reporting another 200 cases of the virus. That's up from yesterday. Two new deaths were recorded in the past 24 hours, trending in a good direction. Also today, Detroit's mayor is urging employees at bars and restaurants to get tested for COVID-19 since they are exposed to so many members of the public. He hopes more testing will prevent any surge and keep businesses running.